एक्सरसाइज 4.3 क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फाइंड द रूट्स ऑफ द फॉलोइंग क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इफ दे एक्सिस्ट बाय द मेथड ऑफ कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर फर्स्ट टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सेवन एक्स प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो नाउ शिफ्टिंग थ्री टू द राइट हैंड साइड टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सेवन एक्स is equal to minus 3 now dividing both side by 2 we will get x square minus seven by two x is equal to minus three by two, which implies x square minus. This can be written as two into x into seven by four is equal to minus three by two. Now, adding seven by four whole to the power two to both sides of equation, we will get x square minus. Two into x into seven by four plus seven by four whole to the power two is equal to seven by four whole to the power two minus three by two. So this will implies x minus. Seven by four to the power two is equal to forty-nine by sixteen minus three by two. Which implies x minus seven by four whole to the power two is equal to. Solving this, we will get. Twenty-five by sixteen, which implies x minus seven by four is equal to square root of twenty-five by sixteen, which implies x minus seven by four is equal to plus or minus five by four. Which implies x is equal to seven by four plus or minus five by four. So x can be seven by four plus five by four, or Seven by four minus five by four. This implies x is equal to twelve by four, or x is equal to two by four, which implies x is equal to three, or x is equal to one by two. Now the second part. Second is two x square plus x minus four is equal to zero. This implies two x square plus x is equal to four. Now dividing both sides of equation. By two, we will get 
x square plus 1 by 2x is equal to 2. This implies x square, this can be written as 2 into x into 1 by 4 is equal to 2. Now, adding 1 by 4 whole to the power 2 to both sides of equation we will get x square plus 2 into x into 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 whole to the power 2 is equal to 2 plus 1 by 4 whole to the power 2. So, this will give x plus 1 by 4 whole to the power 2 is equal to 2 plus 1 by 16 which implies x plus 1 by 4 whole to the power 2 is equal to 33 by 16 which gives x plus 1 by 4 is equal to plus minus root 33 by 4 which implies x is equal to plus or minus 33 by 4 minus 1 by 4. or x is equal to plus minus root 33 minus 1 by 4 which gives x is equal to root 33 minus 1 by 4 or minus root 3 minus 1 by 4. Now the third part. third is 4x square plus 4 root 3x plus 3 is equal to 0. This implies 2x whole to the power 2 plus 2 into 2x into root 3 plus root 3 whole square is equal to 0 which implies 2x plus root 3 whole to the power 2 which is equal to 0. This implies 2x plus root 3 is equal to 0 and 2x plus root 3 is equal to 0 which implies x is equal to minus root 3 by 2 and x is equal to minus root 3 by 2. Now the fourth part. Fourth is 2x square plus x plus 4 is equal to 0. This implies 2x square plus x is equal to minus 4. Now dividing both side of equation by 2 we will get x square plus 1 by 2 x is equal to minus 2. This implies x square plus 2 into x into 1 by 4 is equal to minus 2. Adding 
वन बाई फोर होल टू दी पावर टू टू बोथ साइड ऑफ इक्वेशन वी विल गेट एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस टू इंटू एक्स इंटू वन बाई फोर प्लस वन बाई फोर होल टू दी पावर टू इज इक्वल टू वन बाई फोर Hold to the power two minus two. This will give x plus one by four. Hold to the power two is equal to one by sixteen minus two. This implies x plus one by four. Hold to the power two is equal to Minus thirty one by sixteen. So here, the square of a number cannot be negative. Therefore, there is no real root for the given equation. However. The square of a number cannot be negative. Therefore, there is no real root. for the given equation